What's going on, everybody? Uh, for today, I'm just going to give my thoughts on uh, the new Netflix documentary series that everyone's talking about. A Tiger King, Merit and Mayhem and Madness. Seven episodes. The next episode will be probably coming soon. Uh, yeah, this, this, this documentary is not anything we have seen before. It follows a eccentric zoo owner named Joe Exotic. He's also known as the Tiger King because of his big cat collection. It's like over 200 cats, and yeah, you can imagine someone that owns 200 cats, over 200 tigers, he is out of his mind. He is an eccentric character, he is charismatic, goofy, and also a terrible human being. And the documentary really follows him, and how he runs his zoo, and how his feud with a big cat activist, a big cat rescue care of Baskins, and throughout the series, the feud really escalates, and Joe finds himself into a lot of, a lot of trouble. And it's just wild. Joe Exotic is the main person you follow throughout the documentary. And he is one of the most strangest and interesting people I've ever seen in any form of media. He is so many things. He's a drug addict. He's a tiger owner. He is a presidential candidate. He has multiple husbands. And he is also just not a good guy he, he does a lot of messed up things throughout this documentary it's quite disturbing but he he the cameras love him he just n non-stop talks and it is hilarious at a lot of times and i loved watching every minute of it he uh the show really dives into how he treats his tigers how he runs his zoo and how he treats his employees and it's pretty poorly not pretty it's very poorly he uh this documentary really kind of shows what kind of how he kind of runs his business and it's disturbing at times and it has a lot to say about kind of just animal rights in general and and how people may may or may not run their zoos around the country and it gets into a lot about breeding different animals if it's right if it's sharp and and it's it's interesting it it really shows a lot of kind of issues uh, at hand right now. Uh, Kara Baskins is Exotic's arch nemesis and they do truly, truly hate each other. They despise each other. Exotic goes to unbelievable measures to destroy Baskins' life and to expose him for potentially killing her husband. And yeah, she... The, there's an episode dedicated to like, her past and her husband mysteriously died and it does not look good for her. Yeah, I... It's she's not incarcerated, but I think she probably did. If I'm being honest with you, and I've never really seen a rivalry quite like Joe Exotic versus Kara Baskins, and it's pure entertainment. Some of the stuff Joe Exotic does is just like, what the hell is going on? He has a vendetta against her. He is obsessed with her, and she's kind of obsessed with him too. And the documentary really, really, really shows you that feud and. It escalates to something I, I'm just so surprised what happened. Another interesting character in this documentary is Doc Antle. He's a Florida zookeeper. He's uh, kind of Joe Exotic's role model, and he may or may not be running a cult. He rides around with an elephant everywhere, and he has multiple wives. And he's also kind of accused of abusing his animals, doing really, really terrible stuff. I don't know if it's true. He claims the documentary really uh, tricked him into doing it. So, that's one of the faults of this documentary. I don't know if the creators really were 100% honest with everyone they're interviewing, but it's up for the viewer to decide. Yeah, Doc Anta has a cult personality. He's loud. He's, he's got that really cult leader type going for him, and he's one of the show's breakouts, and it's very interesting how he treats his employees. And yeah, the things I liked about Tiger King, it was just very entertaining, and it's really bingeable, and... The show really takes you through a lot of directions, through a lot of characters, and it's, it's, I wasn't expecting just how many Triss and Terrence are really going to be, and how crazy Joe Exotic really is. He is nuts, and at times you feel bad for him, but you probably shouldn't. He's not a good guy. <laughs> he did a lot of messed up shit, and that's what the stock match he's really gonna show. But in the end, Joe Exotic just wanted to be famous. That was all he wanted in his life. That was really what the documentary was about. And he wanted to take care of Baskins down. And since this documentary became so famous, it's been trending number one on Netflix for the last few weeks. 
I think he accomplishes goals in the end. I think because everyone says Kyle Batson's killed a husband, and he is he is very famous right now. If uh, if you're living under a rock and you haven't seen it, I'd go check him out. And I go check this documentary out. I thought it was good. I thought it was worth the watch. It's something to take your mind off during this quarantine. And I give it an 8 out of 10. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Tiger King. Murder, Mayhem, and Madness on Netflix. Follow us, like, and subscribe if you like this video. And for more 20-somethings content, go follow us on social media at 20-somethings TV. And yeah, guys, peace. Stay safe.